Welcome to The Last of Us Part 2, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks you should know. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. First up, Stealth Fight Run. Okay, so this is how you should approach areas filled with enemies. Always use your bow first. You have a chance to recover arrows after a successful headshot. If you have enough materials, you can craft new arrows. If you get caught, then quickly take out those enemies. You might only need to take out a couple, but be careful because the enemy will alert other enemies to your location. If you get overrun, then the next best option is to run. With the infected, you want to sneak up behind them and then take them down. But you will need to move slower so you don't get caught. I like to have a couple Molotovs on me just in case I get caught. Most infected are weak to fire. Next is to grab then drag enemies. So when you're sneaking up behind an enemy, make sure you grab them then drag them to a spot behind cover or in tall grass before you stealth kill them. This will make it easier going through areas in stealth by hiding the body versus leaving it out in the open for another enemy to find. So plan ahead before you sneak up behind them, grab them, then drag them to a spot behind cover or tall grass before you take them out. Next is to use enemies as a shield. A nice little trick in the game is to use an enemy as a shield. For example, if there are two enemies patrolling, you can grab one of them and then use that one as a shield, then take the other one out. Now this will probably attract more enemies, but in certain situations, you might find it useful to grab an enemy and use them as a shield. Next is bottles and bricks. If you played the first game, then you will probably remember that a bottle or a brick is your best friend when you want to distract an enemy or redirect them to another location. Another nice trick is to throw the bottle or brick at the enemy's head to stun them, then quickly take them out. This can be useful if you're out of arrows and you want to take out the enemy without using ammo. Next is listen mode. There are a couple new things. First, if an arrow is stuck in you, it will prevent you from using listen mode until you pull out the arrow, which you're going to need to do this manually. Second, you can now scan for items. And last, you will be able to see Ellie's scent trail. This will be helpful when you are trying to avoid dogs. Next is guard dogs. Enemies will use trained dogs to track and try to kill Ellie. This does not mean you will be forced to kill the dog. There are several different ways to get past the area with dogs without killing them. Even if you get jumped by a dog, you will have a moral choice to flee or to take it out. Here are a couple tips to get past them. First, use the listen mode to locate all enemies and dogs. This will also show you your scent trail that dogs can track. Second, try to take out the dog's handler in stealth. Third, throw a bottle or brick to distract the dog. And last, you can simply just run away. Next is skill points. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is you won't be able to acquire the necessary resources to fully upgrade Ellie in a single playthrough. Because of this, you need to be careful and focus on the skills that best fit your playstyle. Naughty Dog wants players to make choices and then be forced to live with them. This will have a major impact on how you play the game. So make sure you know what you would like to have and I don't recommend maxing anything out. This way you will have a bunch of different skills to help you through your game. Next is melee weapons and silencer. Two things I like to have on me at all times. First is a melee weapon. This is great for taking out enemies, especially when you get caught. Crafting a silencer for your pistol. Great to have when you are out of arrows or when you're using an enemy as a shield. This will be helpful keeping you in stealth. The Molotov is also great to have, but I like to keep them for the infected versus human enemies. Next is scavenge the area. So a lot of the times after passing an area with a bunch of enemies, this will normally present a perfect opportunity to scavenge the area for supplies. Take your time and search everywhere around the area and restock up on your supplies. 
there will be times that you will need to find supplies within enemy areas so do your best and try to locate them and once you pass that area take your time and search for more supplies you never know what you might need later on down the road next is explore anthony the co-director mentioned in an interview in this game we have gone so far into making a level design open that there are actual entire story moments entire combat encounters full scripted sequence that you may completely miss so since ellie is more agile in combat and exploring the world take the time to explore and discover new areas by jumping and climbing over obstacles you never know what you're going to find or what new stories you will unlock all right those are the tips and tricks you should know that hopefully will help you out through the game if there is any other tips and tricks you would like to add then please leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time.